Holy crap. <laughs> Is that where our cars are? How do we get out of here? Hello everyone, I'm back in Bear and really thought I was going to be done with Bear this season, but here I am. I was invited to come to this Mountain Girls gathering event hosted by, I guess, the Big Bear Tourism Board, City of Big Bear or something, and Mountain Girls. Uh, but anyways, I showed up a little bit early because I'm determined to go snowboarding for a little bit before the event. And Brandon says that there's no snow and it's not going to be possible, but... I'm stubborn and I'm gonna make it happen. So we're gonna ride up on little pit bikes and try to find a little patch to snowboard on. Woo! All right, we made it to the snow, like halfway up the mountain and Corrugated tubes right there, snow right here. So I think I'm right, we could snowboard. However, all the snowboard stuff is down at the truck. So now we're gonna have to ride back down, head back up, and that was a good like 10 minute ride. This is where the park was. All right, and here are Bear's park features, all laid out for the season. This is where Snowboarder Mag's launch was. That was a big, uh, big step over jump. This was a jump right here over this building, but it's all gone. Well, it turns out that carrying a snowboard on a dirt bike is a little bit more difficult than you'd think, or it's just as difficult as you would think if you thought about things. It, it wasn't easy. So we found this new patch of snow, dragged this little bench up onto it, and this is gonna be my big old snowboard adventure for Bear for this weekend. Here we go. Standing here right now, looking at this, I'm honestly not even sure I can get going and have any sort of speed by the time I get to that. And it's also looking from here like there's not much room to ride out on the other end, so. Eh, oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Oh God. I think I need more speed. I don't know where I'm gonna get it from because I'm kind of out of snow right there. <laughs> no, no, no. Just slid off the snow. It's trying so hard to avoid the mud. Well, I guess that's it for the uh, snowboarding adventure for this weekend. Um, I went to start doing a turn and turns out there's big old screws sticking out on the top of that bench. And they kind of were like, nope, you're not turning, so. But I accomplished what I set out to do today. Brandon, you lose. I was able to snowboard at Big Bear, even though Big Bear closed four weeks ago. <laughs> He's flipping me off right now. <laughs> I am on my way up to the cabins that we are going to be staying at for this Mountain Girls event. I think this is the right way. Uh, right up here on Snow Summit Mountain. And let's see. Hmm. Alright, I just found Meg and she gave me a little tour of this place and showed me my apartment for the weekend. So this is it right here. The Smiths. And now, I'll give you guys a little tour. It's a simple little apartment, but I've got the master bedroom with set. That's the good stuff. All right, so here we are. My bedroom for the weekend with the cute little tree lamps. And I've got this balcony out here. And then we will run upstairs. And this is the upstairs of the little place. Got some swag stuff from Big Bear, stickers, I don't know, things. 
snacks, and then in the fridge, we've got it stocked with this stuff, kombucha, and then this one is like an alcohol kombucha, which is fun. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over to where the little barbecue is going on. They've got this, I don't know, welcome thing. They've got drinks and food and all sorts of stuff set up. So I'm gonna run back over there and meet everyone who is at the event for this weekend. Early the next morning. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause I've been hanging with you, and it feels like love. Alright, we made the short drive from Big Bear Lake to Holcomb Valley. And now we're doing, I think, like an eighth of a mile hike up to the climbing spot. So it's pretty close. And I'm so excited because this is beautiful already. These rocks are amazing. Uh, Alright, we made up to the wall that we are going to climb. We got the shoes, got the harness, and yeah, ready to head up there to my second ever outdoor climb of my life. I want you here with me. Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? All right, made it to the top. Oh my God. Woo. I'm way up here. This is kind of terrifying. Oh my God. Oh, wait, wave to the camera. <laughs> Maybe don't wave, you're using your hands. <laughs> oh. All right, you. Oh, look at you, are a professional now. All right, I've done three climbs and my arms are shot. Oh, they're like shaking and I'm hungry and it's hot. So I'm gonna go try to find our truck that's got lunch at it and chow down and chill out. This is pretty fun. So our rock climbing trip might be cut a little short because it looks like there is a well, out of control fire started right there. She went. Uh oh. Okay. Fire department is on the way. Shit. Oh. That's not good. Oh. Uh oh. Looks like a car caught now. Hopefully it's not one of our cars. Holy crap. <laughs> An engine just blew up. There's all this gray smoke coming out. I don't think we want to go down there, guys. Holy crap. I think there's multiple cars catching fire right now. How do we get out of here? Is that where our cars are? That's where the cars are. Someone's car that's there is burning. It's like... Well, should we like move other cars away so they don't catch? Not moving into the road. I think it's too, too big of a fire <laughs> to do that. <laughs> Where do we go? Oh my God, look at it. Look at this plume coming up. What? Um, that's not good. I think we should probably get out of here, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is looking worse. Holy crap. Okay, you got the keys? Oh, you got the key. Right, we gotta run down. If it's the way out, then we're gonna run away. You guys, we are starting a hike down the trail to whoever's with our group, get your stuff. Alright, we'll be 
Oh my god. You know the way back to the car? Well, this just got a little bit exciting with the possible multiple car fires going on. Holy crap. We are rushing to get back down to where we parked. Hopefully it's not our cars that caught fire. We are getting close enough to smell it now. Can't really see, oh, I think it's over there. All right, we made it to our parking lot. Our cars are right there, so we're good. Not our cars. Not our cars. Not our cars. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, no, we need to get out of here. And hopefully it's not on the road that we need to get That's out of really here. That's really the important part. Yeah. If we can figure out how to not drive into it, yes, we will be golden. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus, that's the... We're, we're here we're, with the cars. Right now, it's good still? Okay. okay. Thank you. So one of the problems with being with a group of like 20 people is keeping the group together. Um, we all rushed down, but apparently part of the group got lost. So some of our group went back to find them. And we just talked to the guys in the Jeep and they were saying that the fire's like next to the road. It was a camper that caught fire. And um, we pretty much need to leave now because the fire's not on the road yet, but it might be soon. So hopefully we can gather up the rest of our group really quickly and get out of here. Didn't really expect there to be a, uh, a fire in the forest in this vlog, so. Wow. Where, oh my God, look at that dude running. <laughs> there's the base of it to the right, I think. Look at all those people running. We were so close to it. Tell them what happened. Yeah, 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 jump in. You guys came right through it? Yeah. Look at that, that's an off-road fire truck, man. Look at those wheels, woo! Four-wheel drive fire truck. <laughs> There's the... Firefighter airplane. He just dropped. That's sick. Life isn't perfect. It's messy and unexpected, but it's wonderful. You can find love, magic, and beauty all around you if you chase after it. So find what lights your soul up, then go out and carpe your happy.